And welcome everyone to Los Angeles. Game seven. Those two words resonate with the finality, the immediacy, and the urgency of the days for the Clippers and the Utah Jazz. From a 3-2 deficit, they completed the task a couple of years ago from the floor. He has struggled in for the game. So what you want to do is hope that he can unleash himself to all the majority of the possessions of this game if they're going to win. And the big thing is to try to stay out of foul trouble because they need his point. Out top to Hayward. Diaw inside with the layup. Off the inbound, here's Ingles, who do a lot nice. of ball handling. Good play, and Hayward with the layup. Now he got hit. Tried to draw the contact. Favors with an offensive rebound. George Hill from deep. Got it! Well, they were looking at what kind of coverage they would see with uh, Jordan rolling on the screen and roll. Boy, Austin Rivers. And naturally, the guy playing the screener was not up on him. Off to Two turnover. One. Got a score here. Got Ingles. And Joe Ingles finally on the scoreboard here in the year. Paul Pierce guarded by Diaw. Nice cut by Austin Rivers. That hamstring points. And then also getting up and down, coming off the curls. Diaw kicks it out to Hayward, and he drills the... He is shooting at 43% in threes and takes five a game. And Jordan with the flush. Ball into the paint. They took away the lob and seven on the shot clock. Looks for the screen from Joe Johnson. Couldn't turn the corner, and nice. look at that tip. Bound. He's been a starting center power forward in this league ever since he came in. But tough guarding Chris Paul. <laughs> Under three minutes to go as Raul Neto gets set to come into the game. Chris Paul with the ball on a string. Gets in, they can rotate. By that flattening out, you have to play him one-on-one. -on -one. Hey, what about Derek Favor? Four on three. Now it comes down to your ball movement. How do you read to get an open shot? Jordan with the slam. Most Spates checking into the ball game. He had nine in the first quarter. And Felton gets all the way to the bucket. Plus, as we know, they've had a lot, a lot of good looks inside 18 feet. Go bear back in the ball game as Rodney Hood. It's in the points, but in the rebounding and banging in the painted area. Jazz moving around in rhythm. Rodney Hood. Oh, see, that's a difficult pass for him. Yeah, that's, that's, it's tough to make that decision. It's... Derek Favors with his eighth. Little stutter step in Austin Rivers. Boy, he gets to where he wants to go, doesn't he? Joe Johnson. Johnson here in Utah. He almost chose Utah last year before finally deciding on Miami and off the turnover an easy one want them to get ahead by 10 or more points get him back in to run things Johnson got to another spot of hit so perhaps trying a little length defensively against Chris Paul here's Rivers crosses over Hayward what a scoop shot Rivers was across the court he drifted to the right side to take the defense and he made that cross court pass and Derek favors was pretty stagnant here and now the high pick and roll. Well, it's taken. Jordan, no, oh, he yeah, reached right. out. But your bench people have scored 21. That's great chemistry and good movement with the second one. Joe Ingles. One of the last cuts by the Clippers a couple of years ago. Paul lobs it up for Jordan and Lob City in effect by nine. Paul with the high arcing oh, runner in the paint. Behind him, he's made a home for himself in Utah. He sure has. He's uh, a very big part of what what up to the success. Austin Rivers. Paul changes gears, draws the hit, count it. Day night. And for the Los Angeles Clippers, a loss here would be crippling. As Hayward, and the guys who switch out on him take away the shot. Oh, Paul tried to yeah. get away with drawing a foul, didn't, and Diaw flushes it home. Those have four rebounds. But Derek Favors did a great job in the first half. Paul Pierce, good defense by the Clippers. Diaw a contested three, uh, foul, uh, and one. They're looking at four. Yeah. Yeah. Hobbling a little bit. Yeah, he came down hard, but he got himself in a bad area. Diaw on the break, and one, foul by Pierce. Clippers unable to play at their tempo. George okay. Hill with a foul line jump shot. High percentage. They're not making anything go down at the other end of the floor. And then they're getting out in transition. Ray Felton. Here's Jamal Crawford. Had that big second half 
in game six. Up to Jordan for the slam. Yeah, that was pretty. Here. Oh, Jordan it's good by Hill. Oh, my. Finish the layup. That was his easiest shot of the series. It's okay. Gordon Hayward had his back. Seven, and the Clippers being the second one. That's why you have two wins already by both teams on the road in this series. And Crump, we, we, come on, we almost saw that, you know, just a fantastic finish the other night by the Clippers. Hayward missed the reverse and favors. About everyone right now, if you're going to play small, which they are right now, with Paul and Felton out there. That's the kind of tenacity they need more of. Pierce on the tape. Pretty. And one. Yeah. Johnson slammed on the brakes. Oh, and what a time bad. to Favors. It's not going to get any easier. No, you know, the old story. Extending the defense, making the center come out to play him. Joe Johnson inside. That's Felton getting downhill. Pretty. And finishes with the layup. Tuesday night, the loser will see their season end. Crawford on the floater. Spates with the board and put back. Nice. A 14 point lead. Got plenty of time here to get a good shot. Don't sleep on Joe Johnson. What a oh, pass to Hood. Great. Oh, he caught the Clippers napping. With six minutes to go, you're at home, you'll be in the game. Crawford in rhythm, finally. There you go. Hayward behind a couple of staggered screens, patiently knocks down the jump shot in game six. That side of the floor opened up for Hayward when he put in 25. And Jamal Crawford starting to find his rhythm. Shooters in this lead. Now remember now, Riddick did not have a basket, so Crawford has got to do it. And George Hill sneaking in for the last leap. Crawford up for Pretty. Jordan. What a Pretty. play. Love City. Hayward guarded by Chris Paul. Strong drive. Took the hit and won. Close. Riddick guarding Hayward. Nice. Went for the pump fake. And Gordon Hayward has it working. On game six, he only had six. He got 25 in the second half. He, he's really moved. Nice pass. Crawford off the loose ball scramble. Got it back. Six on the shot clock. Angles taken out his do-it-yourself kit. And it works. Double team picks it back out to Crawford. A long three, nice. knocks it down. Now they'll waste a little bit of time here until you brought the double team, then they'll pass out. Ingles, one of the deadliest shooters from outside in the league. The lob for Jordan had to come nice. down with it and dunked it home. Nice to embrace the challenge. Well, he's also, he's been running the clock to get off a, a fairly decent shot. And he gets another floater to go. Fast break, if you're Utah, you take it to take the advantage because even if you don't score you might get fouled boy hayward just waltz down big possession here now if you score now you're going to put big time pressure ready go can he finally get one finally. yes there it is one down these teams are so evenly matched george hill behind the go bear screen this one falls staples center with under a minute to go home team down 11. all right they're going to press the trap you know gamble here right now the bad thing is is to pass the basketball oh hey we've got an easy one so you would try to tell people the home team in this series is going to win three games on the road the visitors will win three in this series well paul pierce we all know one of the truly great players ever to play this game a sure hall of famer 22 points a game throughout his career, 45% shooting, one of the top three-point shooters in the history of basketball, and he'll, he'll end up fourth in that category of three-point make. They call him the truth for a reason, because he was one of the greatest finishers that this league has had. Today, though, belongs to Quinn Snyder and the Utah Jazz, who get their first playoff series victory.